Hey traders and welcome. I'm Tamar Mayer, FX Globe Ambassador, and this is FX Globe Masterclass. In this Masterclass series, we will look at the world of bonds. So what are bonds? Let's look at the definition of bonds. Bonds are a type of debt security, which represent a loan made by an investor to a borrower. When an investor buys a bond, they are essentially lending money to the bond's issuer, which in returns agree to pay the investor interest for the use of the money and to repay the principal amount of that loan at a specified future date, which is called the maturity date. There are two main types of borrowers, government and corporate. Government bonds are bonds which are issued by national governments to finance government spending. Government bonds are considered to be safe as they are backed by the stability and creditworthiness of the issuing government. From this we can see that there are different levels of safety attached to government bonds as some governments have a higher creditworthiness than others. The US government bonds are considered to be very safe However, the recent political deadlock around the raising of the government debt ceiling has caused some nervousness in the bond market. Corporate bonds are bonds that are issued by private or public companies. For example, when a company is looking to raise cash for a new project they may be planning, a company may choose to sell more shares if it's a public company, but that can be limited to a certain numbers of shares actually being available for sale, an amount which was previously agreed on, usually in the company's listing. Without this type of limitation, a company shares can be too diluted, which can lower the value of the share, and current shareholders may be facing losses due to this action. The company can also look to sell their own bonds to raise capital for the project. Corporate bonds typically offer a higher rate of interest than government bonds. However, they are also considered to be higher risk. At issue, the bonds are usually sold at face value with a positive interest rate. However, bonds are traded instruments and therefore their price can fluctuate based on changes on interest rate and credit worthiness of the issuing entity. It's important to note that what used to be consensus about the mechanics of the bond market was thrown into question during times of ultra-low interest rates, as we've seen government bonds being sold with a hundred years to maturity, and even bonds which had negative interest rates. Bond prices and the interest rate attached to them have an inverse relationship meaning that when interest rates goes up, the bond price goes down. And when the bond prices go up, the interest rates goes down. So how are investors being compensated for handing over their money and taking on the risk? In the next chapter, we'll look deeper into how investors are utilizing the bond market to generate returns and protect their capital. Happy trading!